Arsenal away to Brighton finishes in a scoreless draw, Steve Nickel. Uh, fair to say Brighton were not just the more ambitious, but indeed the better team on this day? Yeah, I think in terms of, of the football they played and the, and the possession of the ball, then yes, they, they probably were the better of the two teams. To be honest, neither team looked like scoring. That's the honest truth. There were a couple mm. of headers. Um, that, that Brighton had, you know, Burns had one. I think Duffy was the other one. But it was tough conditions. Um, and you could only tell when you got shots from the TV or lower down the howling wind that was going around. Now, you stick some rain, constant rain on that. It's very difficult. Listen, footballers will all tell you, the worst conditions to play in is windy conditions. So I do have some sympathy for both sides. Uh, but at the end of the day, I guess you'll probably say that it's the same for both teams. Uh, so, yeah, I guess Brighton win on points. But I'll tell you what, if you're Arsenal, you've gone away from home and you've got a clean sheet. This is something that we've complained about. Certainly I've had a problem with uh, previously. So there are positives uh, for Arsenal uh, and that would be the clean sheet. Yeah, I'm wondering, give me the manager's perspective there. How do you think Mikel Arteta will, will look at this, not just result, but the performance as well? I think he'll definitely use the conditions um, to give some leeway to the players. Um, and 100%, he'll be, he'll be talking about, listen, we go away from home, we don't lose goals, then we fancy ourselves that we'll get a goal. Um, as I said, conditions didn't help. They didn't particularly look like they were going to score, but hey, it's a point away from home. I'm looking at the lineup here. I mean, Obama Yang, Saka, Odegaard, Smith Throw, those are kind of your starting attacking players. You bring in Lacassette, like Nicolas Pepe off the bench. Stevie, is it a case of it's just not enough, or is it something in the approach from Arteta? <laughs> um, well, I, listen, I'm I'm still to be convinced that Odegaard is going to be anything other than just a good footballer. Uh, I, yes, he got a great free kick last weekend. But other than that, I don't remember too much in the, not just this season, but the time he spent at Arsenal last season. Um, is Aubameyang playing for any of the top four sides? I don't think he is. So, listen, I think, yes, on paper, Arsenal were a bit, are a better side than most. But you don't get anything on paper. You have to produce on the field. And I guess that's why Arsenal had such a bad start, because he didn't produce, yes, this is four wins, uh, uh, sorry, four four games, three wins and a draw. I mean, that's that's a big step up from from three losses uh, in the first three games. So they're going in the right direction. How good they are, um, I will hold my judgment till maybe Christmas. Stevie, quick word on Brighton. They've been the surprise package of the season so far. What do you think of their performance and maybe their chances to keep it up moving forward? I think we just saw what Brighton is. Um, and I saw, I think we saw the Brighton of last season as well. Brighton play football. Unfortunately for Brighton, they don't have anybody who really can put the ball in the back of the net on any sort of regular basis. Um, it's always been the problem. It will continue to be the problem unless they go and, and, and find a young, a young diamond somewhere or else they turn around and spend a lot of money on, on a proven goal scorer. Lovely football, great to watch, nice runs, nice passing. Unfortunately, not enough goals. Um, and that's not really going to change. Arsenal and Brighton then finishes scoreless, 0-0. Zero to zero. Arsenal, some good news into the top half of the Premier League table. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.